hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart so first we will create the table as we required the first thing is I want to show with the shipment date and my total sales in bar chart to say I'm going to do same like I have done in the line chart so I'll define the columns and I'll define my sales just drag and drop in columns and rows so columns are in that below you can see 2015 16 17 89 if you want to see this in month and date month and year sorry so you just click on the column year shipment date and more and click on custom just change this to month and year and press ok now you can see this now we'll do it a little bit diff different comparing to our line chart we have done before in the before line chart i have shown you how with a different shipment mode but here i'm going to show the region now this is total of 13275 13275 dollars for the for the january 2013 but i just want to know how this total sales has been done from which from which region this has been done or if i click on this this would be the second highest i think both are same yeah this is the first highest and this is the second highest bar which is in december 2017 so in december 2017 in which region i have made this whole sales so for that you just need to drag your region and just leave it on your bar chart here you can see the same 2017 this you can see there are four different regions here one is west which has made 32 219 and one is 13 839 and 33 dollars so this is how you can create bar chart and you can do it a little bit more also if uh, you just wanted to make it to a uh, uh, little bit more coloring so you know what is this right uh, this is regions we can see which is uh, differentiated with the colors so if you want to even give the names for this it we can give the names like uh, click on the region and drag it on the label if you see the size is too small if you want to increase the size of your bar chart just you know what is this right this is size you can just click on the size and you can increase the size like this but this is not a good idea let it be default it looks beautiful okay so this is how you can do it so stay uh, tuned for my upcoming videos we'll do so many manipulations on this bar chart so that you learn too many things from my side so thank you guys